Hello everybody, it's Chrissy from Chrissy's Beautiful Life and I'm here to do the second part of our de-stashing um, embellishments part. Okay, so what am I talking about here? I am doing something called The Great Purge of 2024 and my goal is to be really serious with myself about things that I'm going to actually use versus not use and if I know I'm not going to use it, I need to get it out of my stash and make room for things that we can. And then once we get through all of that, we're going to start making page kits. So that, that'll be in a few weeks. But for now, I'm focusing in on my little embellishment containers. And I have got, I think, 12 of them. And I'm going to put half of them back so we can kind of talk about this. I have done a few different things with these over the years. They are the ones from Michaels that are supposed to be then stored in a bigger iris container i've actually just taken mine all out and put them um in my uh, raft hog cart so over the years again i've done a few things i've gone by color i've gone by theme and it i do go to them but i find <sighs> it works but it it, it does, but it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. It's, they're fine and like, I'm glad I have them, but I just, it's hard. It's just a hard one for me. So we are gonna go through these and I'm not sure I'm gonna go through every single one of these with you. It might be a super long video if we did that. But for example, like I've got this one that says black and you're probably wondering like, what do you do when it's not that anymore? I have found that if I take my permanent marker, and I re like scrub on it and then I wipe it somehow it like comes off so let's see if I can show you that just in case you're wondering why I would ever mark on my black oh it's not doing it this time oh it is see and then it's like it comes off and then I can rewrite on it and it's pretty cool I I enjoy that so that's what I do when I figure out what I want to what I want in this um, this particular one seems to be labels and you know what? I think I like, I do think that I like the idea that this one is labels and I am a fan of labels. So let's just quickly look, um, this one with the gold, I'm not going to use. So we're going to get rid of that one. Um, I think the rest of them are good. I'm good to keep. Okay. So that is perfect. And when I start going through my collections, we can, um, a lot of ones that have like the cut aparts in them have a label. So that will be a great one to throw into. So let's rename this one. We're gonna call it labels. And I am feeling, I'm feeling good about that one. Up next is this book school one. Again, I find this one usable because I definitely go to it when I'm doing school, my kids school themed. However, I, I do need to go through it. I know there's some stuff that I need to be realistic with myself, whether or not I'm gonna use it. And so let's kind of do that and see if while I'm looking through any of this, if it sparks any stories so we can put it into our other bag. Now I have this inhale the future, exhale the past thing. Again, I'm not gonna use it. It's a sticker. I don't even think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna toss it. Um, let's start with our bigger pieces. I have this typewriter. This is, I've had forever. I'm not gonna use it. We're gonna pass it up. Um, I definitely am going to keep this backpack. That is usable to me. Um, I like the stapler. I don't need two of them though. Paintbrush is a good one. Books. Um, my especially my daughter is really getting into reading so we're gonna keep that i'm liking that one we'll definitely keep all the book themed stuff like these little like pencil sharpener things i don't think i need to keep that but we'll keep the art supplies i think a lot of this we will keep um there's this one about it's for our baby collection and um, the, the colors I'm not super drawn to, so I think we'll let that go. Um, I'm gonna let go of that paint one. Glasses, hot glue gun as well. 
Huh? I'm okay with that one. <sighs> Chipboard. I have to think about the wood veneer one. I like this painting one. I can see that being used in the school stuff. We've already put one of those in there. I don't need to. This sticker one, I think I can let that one go. Let the hot glue gun go. This book one, I think we'll keep. I think we'll do a little, you know, collection of book one. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm definitely keeping that. I love the eight track. Um, that's not an eight track. What is that? The mixtape. Oh my gosh, what do we call these? I just call them mixtapes. I used to do them all the time. Um, okay, we'll keep that one. I'm gonna keep the little pencil pouch. Those I think are super useful. I'm actually gonna move that. I have a different collection of like rainbow stuff. But see, now there's the thing is I have a whole collection of rainbow stuff and like, do I put it with the rainbow stuff or do I, I don't know, I don't know. We're definitely gonna keep those. I like both of those. Same thing with that, it's paint themed, but it's rainbow themed. We're gonna let go of the typewriters. I like this one, we'll keep that one. Um, keep, keep, paint, keep. I like this little thing, but it's like baby themed more than school themed. But I guess I could put it in with a photo of Barrett with preschool. So let's make that into a story starter because I can see that working. Um, we already did one pencil. I don't get the eraser thing. I don't need the washi tape thing. I don't need these marker things. Pencils. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I definitely could use them. I guess we'll keep them. It's more art. I'm going to get rid of that scissor one. I'm not going to keep that. The washi tape one I don't find usable. I like the scissors. We'll keep that. I'm not going to keep these little glue stick things. Don't even know what that is. So we're going to toss that. Okay, we'll keep that, keep that, we'll keep that, and that. Travels and adventures. I actually think this would be fun to put into our travel um, collection. So which is in this little bin that we cleared up last time. Do, is it? Or do we move it somewhere else? No, it's somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to keep put that into a different pile. Here is a preschool sticker, which it's just so primary and I don't really use those colors. So we're going to let that go. And I think we are... We're good. Okay, so we're gonna keep all of this. I still have to debate about that. And the paint swatches. I'm just wondering, cause it's like art themed, like it's all gonna go together, right? Um, but like, do I need three of them? No, so let's get rid of one of each. <sighs> I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. I'm gonna leave it in the school thing for now and we'll we'll get to it closer. I don't know about this wood veneer. This is on my maybe pile. This is going into our story starter. And these are going into our giveaway. Awesome. And then that one, this one is going into the um, travel one, which I have in one of these containers. Okay. So I'm feeling okay about that. This is a story starter. I just need to figure out where I do with that bag. Okay. So still maybe story starter and into travel. Do I have that somewhere? I do somewhere. We'll figure it out. But now we've got something like this one, which I've done food and birthday. And I am finding that it... I probably need to separate, make one about food and one about birthday because it is starting to become 
a bit mixed up and so it's fine to have the birthday cake and the birthday theme like I'm okay with that so I think we'll go through this one next and I'm gonna do I'm now gonna start doing these off camera and just kind of showing you what it looks like beforehand and what it looks like after so this video is not already I mean it's already 10 minutes long we don't want it to be forever so this one is a big old collection of any and everything food related including tags and little bits and pieces it's got you guys it's got everything so I'm gonna go through this and I'll come right back and show you what I ended up doing with it okay so what did I find in that I found a bathing suit so that's summer <laughs> um I found just a few things that I can put into my giveaway thing which is awesome I haven't been completely brutally honest with myself about this stuff yet I was really more kind of sorting um and I found a couple things that can go into my coffee and tea bin so that's great I came up with ice cream, fruits, and uh, things. Honestly, I think a lot of those can be put into my summer. This is something I was talking about where how do you decide if it goes into which theme it goes into? Um, so we're going to go through that a little bit. And then I've got definitely birthday themed, but I also have like cake, uh, cupcakes, and donuts that I think, oh, to be honest with you, I'm not going to use that. Um, I think I can put these all together. And currently, I'm not sure I would say that this is big enough to be in a bin on its own. It would fit better into the idea of one of my little pink containers that we sort of threw yesterday. Or So for now, I have to debate on what's going to happen as I go through, because I have other collections that we're going to break apart. And if we're going to have a whole iris container with that, um, what we're going to do with that. So for now, I think I'm going to leave it in one of the pink bins and then we're, we're going to go from there. I actually think I'm going to turn one of these in to, I mean, this. look at all of this ice cream, ice cream, everything. My kids don't even eat that much ice cream. So I think I need to be a little bit honest with myself um, and maybe make one of these whole containers into a summer themed and then we'll do the food, the food one. Although, I mean, again, I don't know. Most of us could fit into summer that I have now. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think again for a minute. Okay, let's talk about what I came up with. I have so many. I bought the wrong size freezer bags. Anyway, so I have a ton of, I have a ton. Um, and so I've separated them into ice cream, fruit, and labels like things you can write on that are all summer themed that are very into those things and then I've left up a couple like these um cotton candy um this sweet sunny days I know it's a fruit but I'm like this is so I don't know it's just different to me and the um little barbecue thing that is going in with that swimsuit and that I need vitamin c I'm gonna put these all in for now in the little pink bin and then what my plan is, is I haven't purchased the iris container I need for the summer um, bin I'm going to create. And so once I have that, these can, go, these can all go in there. And then as I'm creating, I can work within those boundaries if I want to. Um, so for now, I think that is going to work. If I find I have an empty one, I can slip these in this whole bin and title the whole bin summer. And then at least it's separated by buy things and it'll be easier for me to look at. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I did the same thing with the birthday um, because I think I will have a birthday iris container as well. So that is the idea I came up with. So let's move on to the next thing and see what else we come up with and how many of these bins we can keep empty so that we can then decide what to do with them. Okay up next. All right we are into the rainbow bin which is what we got into next. And here is what I came up with that. Um, I found some pieces that are just old and I know right away I'm not going to use. So we're going to get those donated out into the bag. Um, I found a label that can go into the label container. I found a birthday theme thing. That's awesome. I found these houses, which I think are like making homes or uh, I don't know I know they're a bit older but I'm actually thinking to put this in my travel because when we go and see anything kind of we don't live like in the city city and this makes me think of that so 
I'm thinking I'm gonna put this into travel, which I still have out because I haven't found that one yet. And then I found a bunch of like words, pre-made things. So I think we need to have a selection, something for that, um, including this create. So I like that and I need to remember that's there so I can use that. Because then, it, you know, that whole create thing we can do with that painting that we had, including this love. Now we've got, so a rainbow, a tag, a house, um, a frame, a little like, I don't know, and an arrow. I I mean, the, and, oh, and this little Canadian maple leaf. Um, yeah, like I don't know. It's not making me think like this all needs to go back into a rainbow themed container. I'm okay with having like word phrase container, creating one of those. And then kind of maybe a tag container. That would be fun to kind of flip through for tags. Um, I'm not sure how many tags I have. So that kind of makes me wonder. And then also like the frames that we found already in that little one, this one's a little bit bigger. Maybe we need a frame container. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're going to leave these off to the side for now and see what we're going to fit these into. These are kind of my like, I don't know yet. Um, but I do think we will have a put these two away and where they begin and way down below, which will be tomorrow's video as I have a whole nother bin that has like stickers, like letter, smaller letter alphas. And I think I have a place to put these. And so without making its own container i think we'd probably put them in that maybe i don't know let's make no let's just make one i changed my mind as i'm speaking let's just make a word phrases is that right phrase is phrases eh, let me double check that spelling but okay put that stuff away let's move on okay next two bins up so i have this one that was days and months and i did flip through it quickly and i rediscovered all these awesome things that i'm like how have i not used any of this so i need to do that that needs to go into this one um so i am going to keep most of it i did pull out there was some wood veneer in it with the the months I pulled those out because I need to decide that in a separate we are gonna do a whole Shadney wood veneer thing so I pulled those out but we're gonna keep that one just as it is I did get rid of some stuff that looked older to me that I won't I know I won't use still usable I also went through my I call it stars stars and clouds um, I had a few little felt clouds left that I put in with my shiny cork because I'm hoping seeing them I'll use them and then I have a few things so I have another frame um, a moon this little, cute little star thing um, these two stars I have a few things but again it's not enough to create a whole empty bin so left that and then I also found this really cute I think together that is a great start for a, a page. So I put those together to put into the page kits and getting those away. So that has finished the first six containers, which is awesome. We're gonna put that back in, grab the last six and get this wrapped up for the day. Okay, you guys, my desk is a mess, but I'm feeling good. So this whole pile is going into the donation, which I feel so good about. I can't even tell you how good it feels to have a huge collection of stuff to just give away and we will talk about that giveaway later okay this is what my bag looks like currently after two days of purging not too bad sorry about the noise i've got a child that's feeling much better he's playing with his little brother okay i have very defined I kept my days and months. I kept the book and school themed, the coffee themed, and the animals. I've added on in labels, 
word phrases, frames, tags, and tickets. So those are all going to go back into the collection under on my Rascock. So they're easy to access and we're going to have so much fun creating our page kits now that things are organized. And we're going to quickly talk about what I'm going to do. I have six containers left in my plans. I am going to create a birthday. I'm going to create a summer and I'm going to create a random holiday, meaning like if it says like hello spring, Valentine's, Easter, Canada Day, I have those to put into a container. And then I've got, I'm going to do a floral one so I can get it out of this because it's starting to overflow. So we're going to move that into one of them. And then I think I can add things like that to that particular one. Um, I guess I put that in frames. I'm not sure. I might just have another kind of ring. Sorry, I have to go faster. I'm running out of storage. Um, I'm going to create one for um, banners, banners, tabs, and arrows. And then a random one that I will have a, another quick look through to make sure there's nothing I am willing to give away. And then I have a very small collection to put into my page starting um, bag that we started when we start to do the page kits. And I added a few goodies into the use it or lose it box. So that is awesome too, because then I know if I don't use them, we can uh, pass it on and get it into that bag as well. Alrighty. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I hope this was a fun look at how much stuff I have, but um, really getting through some stuff and reorganizing into different categories. Hopefully maybe this will work with um, how I'm going through it. We're going to know really quickly as I start to do page kits if this was a good idea or not. Um, but yeah, have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye everyone.